Welcome to Linda's Creative Coiling. Today I'm going to show you how to do the spiral wheat stitch. First, the wheat stitch, there are several varieties. There's the open wheat stitch, there's the straight wheat stitch, and the spiral wheat stitch. That's hard to say. Um, today I'm working on the spiral wheat stitch. The point in this basket that I'm using for my demonstration is not really where I would start a new stitch. It's good to start a new stitch or change colors right at the start of your basket, which would be right here. I'm just gonna do it out here because that's where I am in the basket and I wanted to show you this. The way to do the, the spiral wheat stitch is I turn my basket over. I always interlock my stitches. So I go in on the left of that thread. I come out in the front on the right side of that thread. So it interlocks that previous stitch. Okay, I pull it tight. Now what I'm gonna do is go in exactly the same hole, go in that same hole. So I go in that same hole I come out on the front in that same exact spot where my first stitch was. What that does is it creates a straight leg on my stitch. Now I go across to the next thread. I go in on the left. I come out on the right. Oops, come out on the right. Um, I don't know if you can see my darning needle is at an angle. That makes my, my uh, rows go slightly out, makes them angle slightly out. I have some videos on how to do straight up and down rows and how to do flat rows. I haven't done one exactly on how to angle. Uh, but back to this, the second stitch creates this angle across there. So now you can see I have a straight thread and an angled thread. I can do the next stitch. I go across, I go in on the left, come out on the right. Oops. Okay, so I need to create my straight straight stitch. So I go into that same hole where I just came out. I go in there and I come back out the same spot on the front where that thread is. That creates the straight part. Now I go across to the next stitch. I go in on the left and I come out on the right. That creates the angle. One more. I go in on the left. I come out on the right. Nope, I don't. I have to do that stitch. I go into that same one. That's a problem with this stitch. It's hard to remember where you are and what you're doing. All right, I go in that same one. So every stitch, I do two stitches. So that's the straight, straight leg, and now I do the angled leg. So you can see now I 
every stitch has two parts, a straight and an angled. Now I'm gonna to switch to another basket and I'm gonna show you how to do the second or third or fourth rows, the next rows. <clears throat> this basket I'm calling Sunset on the Beach <laughs> because I have the beach down here and now I'm doing the sunset. So you can see my pattern is developing here where my wheat stitch and it's it's creating kind of an angle there. You can kind of see that pattern developing. So what I do now to create that pattern is I'm working with the angled leg. So I turn it over and I look at the angled leg. So there's the straight leg and the angled leg. I'm working with the angled leg. So I go in on the left of the angled leg and I come out on the right of this angled leg. Come out on the right there. Pull it out. Now I do the straight leg part. I go in that same hole. I go in that same hole and I come out. I'm pulling that thread over to the right so I can come out right there and pull it tight. I need to make my angle. I'm gonna use this, this angled part of my next wheat stitch. I'm not gonna use the straight leg. I'm gonna use the angled leg. So I turn it over. I go to the next stitch and use the angle. I'm using the angle. Then I come out on the right, in the front. So that's kind of between those two stitches and that makes an angle. Now I do my straight leg, turn it back over, go in the same spot, come across, come out in the same spot. And there's, there's my stitch. I have another basket that I did that is um, all in one color, and it shows very well what this stitch looks like. So I'll show you. So I have another basket that I did that shows uh, the wheat stitch, and you can see it here in this yellow where it's got the spiral look to the wheat stitch. So uh, it's a very nice filler stitch it kind of creates some interest and uh, easy to use this part is the straight wheat stitch and i'll do that in another video so thanks for watching i hope you'll come back again soon hi i'm linda thanks for watching my video i hope you liked it I, if you would like to subscribe to my channel you can click the subscribe button and ring the bell and that way you'll be notified next time i post a new video Hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot.